What up there, boxing fans? This is Ronell Hig, Boxing Report Side. So, the Julius and Dango, the Julius and Dango versus Ricky Burns fight, I found it pretty interesting. And the reason why is because this was my first time ever seeing Julius and Dango, okay? Um, it was, it was pretty interesting in, uh, last night's fight. Now, um, I heard some pretty good things about him. The commentators were saying that he had went to Russia and won the title over there. And I did some research on that fighter. He beat um, Edward or something like that is pronounced. Um, he had a pretty good record going into the fight with Julius Ndongo. Um, he was 25 and 0 with uh, 22 knockouts. Also uh, did a video search on him. And I seen uh, a couple of his fights. And I must say, yes, he has that, you know, robotic Russian style. Um, he's that type of fighter who... Uh, don't fight in the center of the ring. He'll walk you to the ropes and pound away on you. All right. Uh, that's his style. OK, now in this fight here with uh, Ricky Burns, with uh, Julius Ndongo, um, I must say, man, Ricky Burns was looking like Muhammad Ali versus uh, Larry Holmes. I mean, I'm not taking anything away from Julius Ndongo. Hey, it wasn't his fault that um, Ricky Burns wasn't doing anything. I mean, Ricky Burns was he was like he was slow. Um, his timing was off. You know, he was just frozen throughout the fight. He looked intimidated by the guy. You know, it looked like he'd never seen a dude with the ball hit before. I mean, he was just backpedaling the whole fight. So saying that, I believe that Ricky Burns, you know, he's on his last leg in boxing. Um, he's been through, you know, a lot of wars throughout his career. And with him being, you know, 34 years of age and all, uh, it looks like it's all catching up with them right now. So, you know, I'm not trying to take anything away from Julius and Dango, like I said before. However, um, do I believe that he can come over here to the States and take Terrence Bud Crawford's titles? Uh, nah. Okay, because see, there's two things about Terrence Bud Crawford. He don't have that robotic style, okay? Terrence Bud Crawford won't walk you to the ropes and then well on you, okay? Terrence Bud Crawford can fight in the center of the ring, on the ropes, whatever. He can do it, all right? Uh, second... Terrence Bud Crawford, he's still fresh, okay? He's young. He's not a shot fighter. He hasn't been through, you know, way through too many wars like Ricky Burns, all right? And um, Terrence Bud Crawford is not going to fight like Ricky Burns. You know, Ricky Burns fought the perfect fight for Julius, okay? He stayed on the outside so Julius could use that long reach. You know, it, it was all perfect for him, okay? Terrence Bud Crawford don't fight like that. He'd be all up in Julius Ndongo's chest, okay? And plus, you know, Terrence Bud Crawford, like I say, he's good. His timing is well. Um, he knows how to uh, get off first, all right? And uh, he knows how to counterpunch. And those were the things that uh, Ricky Burns wasn't doing. So, uh, I'm, from, you know, from the way I've seen it, you know, it's time for Ricky Burns to hang him up. Um, if he wants to fight, I, I say he probably have like one or two fights in him. But uh, he'll have to take on some very, very low competition. You know, you know, he had a pretty good career, I think. So, yeah, that's my take on that. You know, this is Ronell Higg Boxing Reports. Make sure you subscribe and like and comment. One, I'm out.